I have to get back to the locker room. I have had a magic day watching Aussies at the Olympic Games. Gold, silver, bronze in the pool. How good is that? Brendan Smith, you are a champion. You came home like a trained son. And what I, but even what I liked better about it was not the effort you put in, not the striving that you had to do to get here, let alone get a bronze medal, but the humility that you've got, the way you've accepted defeat. Mate, your time will come. Just keep hammering away. Good luck and keep up the great work over there. Second, me old mate Jack McLaughlin. Jack, I thought you had it won. When you turned and were coming home, mate, I was pumped. I was going for it. I said, come on, Jack, you've won it. You've won it. You've won it. I've started cheering. Jack, next one. You've got the 800 freestyle and the 1500 freestyle. Don't make it so close, son. Pace your race and go for it. Elijah, you swam for a young bloke at his first Olympic Games. You swam magnificently. And once again, the Aussie humility coming into it. Mate, your chance is going to come. You've still got the 200 tonight. Get into the final and race. This kid next to you the, today in the 400 showed you, the kid from Tunisia, showed you what can be done if you're prepared to race. You've got to race. Talk it over with your coaches. I thought you'd put too much gas into the first lap. But talk it over with the coaches. They'll talk to you about it. And then, the gold medal. How good was that? How hard would it have been for the coaches to select this team? There were six girls vying for the spot. Unbelievable. And to make the choice would have been tough. I don't know if Bowley was involved in making the touch, but it was like the call has to be made. We have to select who we think are going to do the job for Australia. And finally, the team was selected. The Campbell sisters, Bronte, great job on that lead on. Meg Harris, a young kid that was brought in the team. You got your chance and you grabbed it with both hands. Well done. Um, what can I say about my favourite girl, Emma McKeon? Emma, do 10 push-ups for me. But because you're on taper, only need to do two, love. Just take it easy. What a great swim. Look at it here. Lead off swimmer, Bronte, 53.01. Second swimmer, Megan Harris, 53.09. Amazing. Emma McKeon, 51.35. You put us in a position, well, the three of you, really, because the team... There's four swimmers in a team, it's not I in team, but you put us in that position with a 51.35. What a magnificent swim. You hand it over to the greatest relay swimmer in the history of Australian swimming, Kate Campbell. Three consecutive Olympic Games she's anchored for us and gold, gold, gold. Kate Campbell. It's an old flame, but flag bearer at the Olympic Games. Where's that flag? I've got it here somewhere. Never mind. Uh, flag bearer at the Games, you've killed it. Thanks so much for everything you're doing for the young kids around this country. The dreams that you're getting into young kids now, it's invaluable because we need them now because those 10 year olds now are going to be in the relay in Brisbane. They're going to be in the relay in Brisbane. And you, all you girls, you four girls, no, you six girls, because don't forget, you can't do it on your own and you've got those Molly and, and Maddie Wilson. You two girls, you're part of the team. You'll get your gold medal. Bring it home and show it to all these kids around the country so that we, when it comes to Brisbane, we'll knock the Yanks off the number one pedestal. We can do it. I know we can. Oh, I just keep going on. And some of the highlights as well. Um, what did I like? Ash Barty. Oh, what a shock. But once again, 
teaching us lessons in life, lessons in sport. Ash Barty, you are a champion. And you still, don't forget, you're still in the doubles with Storm Sanders. Do us a favour. Get tough again. I know you are. And let's pull it off. Let's win the doubles at the Olympic Games. Come on, Ash. What else impressed me? Oh, the hockey roos. Oh, how good are they going? And Emily Chalker, she scored in her 250th game for Australia. Can you believe that? 250 games for your country? Unbelievable. And what has my daughter been doing all day? What has she been doing all day? Watching water polo. She's been binging out on water polo. Do you know what? When she told me, and I didn't realise this, there's about four of the girls in that water polo team whose fathers played rugby or rugby league for Australia. Check them out. And my old mate, Donnie Ma Armit, in Townsville, in Townsville, your daughter's made the team, mate. I used to play with you. I was the halfback. I was pretty good. But you were the toughest forward I've ever played with, Donnie. Good on you. And there's other rugby players whose kids are on the team. Look, this is a real Australian smorgasbord of sport. And I can't wait for tonight. Oh, the one really thing I wanted to look at today and that I get excited about was watching Adam Peaty. I know he's a bomb. I know he's a bomb. But Peaty is on another planet for breaststroke swimming. And I'm just trying to get teach the young kids that I'm coaching with stars in their eyes for Brisbane. Stars in their eyes. They want to be on the team in Brisbane. And they'll only get there if their technique is good and if they're strong and if they're tough and they're prepared to work. Come on, all you kids out there. Come on, get your mother and father to take you to the pool or take you to the basketball or take you to the track and field. Whatever sport you want, Sport teaches you about life. It'll teach you persistence. It'll teach you goal setting. It'll teach you falling down and getting up. You Aussie team over there, I've been to eight Olympic Games with you. I wish I could be there again. But let me tell you now, I'm there in spirit. Go you good thing.